Since its development and first reported use more than 30 years ago, spinal cord stimulation, SCS, is now established as the standard of care to treat patients suffering from the debilitating effects of a range of chronic pain conditions. These include failed back surgery syndrome, peripheral vascular disease, and refractory angina pectoris. Historically, SCS involves the delivery of electrical pulses transmitted in a tonic stimulation manner. This involved the delivery of regular pulses of energy into specific locations on the dorsal column of the spinal cord from electrodes placed inside the epidural space. Numerous clinical studies have demonstrated that tonic stimulation delivered in this way is effective in up to 75% of pain patients. However, over time some pain practitioners have come to believe that effective coverage at the painful site or region may require the availability of alternate stimulation options or settings. A new and clinically proven stimulation concept called BURST technology has recently been made available. So, what is BURST and how does it work to treat chronic pain? Burst stimulation delivers intermittent bundles of closely spaced, high-frequency stimuli. It consists of a 40 Hz burst mode with five spikes at 500 Hz per burst. The pulse width is fixed at 1 millisecond with a 1 millisecond interspike interval delivered in constant current mode. Burst stimulation acts to suppress pain in the target region below the patient's perception threshold, resulting in less paresthesia and greater patient comfort. As you can see, while the burst concept is uniquely different from all other stimulation algorithms, the real clinical difference lies in the way that burst impacts the pain transmission pathways, resulting in not just significant overall reductions in pain, but also reductions in patient perception and patient attention to pain. Let's take a look at how burst is able to achieve these results. Typically in the body, there are different types of neurons. Some neurons fire in groups of action potentials, or bursts, followed by periods of dormancy. Conversely, other neurons fire in a tonic or continuous manner. Both burst and tonic firing neurons are believed to play a parallel role in pain transmission within the sensory system. Pain is transmitted from the spine to the brain in different pathways, lateral and medial, with specific functional end stations. The lateral path controls the perception of pain. The medial path controls the emotional response and attention to the painful stimuli. Research suggests that tonic stimulation engages only the lateral path, whereas burst stimulation engages the medial and lateral path to maximize the effectiveness and increase overall patient pain relief. In multiple randomized controlled studies, the burst stimulation concept resulted in significant clinical outcomes. Nearly two times improvement in pain now versus tonic stimulation. 1.6 times improvement in least pain versus tonic stimulation over the last seven days. And nearly three times improvement in worst pain versus tonic stimulation over the last seven days. In addition, at the end of the study, a clear majority of patients preferred the burst stimulation concept over tonic stimulation in a head-to-head -head comparison. While tonic stimulation is effective in the majority of patients, burst stimulation is designed for improved outcomes. Proven clinical effectiveness with enhanced patient comfort, all in a single device. One device, limitless solutions.